All right, Sheriff, what's going on over here? So at about 3.30, we got a call on a check a person with a uh, felony warrant. Uh, we responded along with uh, the Marshall's task force. Uh, we did uh, get a warrant for this house. Uh, we surrounded it, tried to get people to come out. They didn't come out. And literally 15 people came out of this uh, house so far. Uh, right now, we're still searching. Uh, we had one subject that uh, was wanted on a, a different warrant, and we're still looking for the subject that uh, we got the information on. So that's that's where we're at today. Uh, one of the things that we've done is we, like I said, we've tried to call the person out. Uh, we actually sent our robot in. Uh, we fired some uh, gas rounds in, and we completed that search. And now the canine unit is doing a final search. Uh, and we're checking some other areas in the house that uh, we were unaware of uh, that the homeowner told us about. I don't know if you're gonna give us any answers on the person you're looking for. It sounds like Schaefer was the guy that was listed over the bullhorn. Is that who you guys are looking for? Confirm that at all? That That is one of the persons that we are looking for, yes. Can you tell us why the marshals are after him? Uh, he has a escape uh, warrant, a federal escape warrant. Okay, what is, does that mean he's a fugitive, essentially? He is a fugitive. And you know what the original charge is for, where he's running from? Well, I think that is what the charge is, that he escaped from custody, and so uh, now he has a warrant out for that, and that's one of the people we're looking for. Does he have ties to the Springfield area? Yes. Okay, is he from here? Uh, from this area, yes. Okay, gotcha. So 15 people, are these, how long in this process did it take to get them all to come out? Well, we, just before we got over here, we took three more out. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've been here since 3.30-ish. Uh, and so a couple hours, and uh, sometimes you hear the excuses of, I just woke up, I didn't hear you. And that's one of the excuses we've got so far. But as you can see, a lot of attention. Uh, we have our uh, armored vehicle out front. Uh, we've been using our uh, bullhorn to call out. and. Um, we were able to get all the neighbors out, but uh, we're still trying to get people out of this house. And, and some of them may have warrants, and that's what they're not wanting to come out. So we'll be checking that here shortly. You said there were 15 people total that were taken out of the house? Yes, so far? that has come out of that house, yes. Some have been taken out, some of them came out. Gotcha. Are all those people going into custody, or is it? No, no, if they, if they didn't have warrants or they didn't uh, try to mislead us or uh, try to uh, hide a fugitive, uh, then uh, then they'll be free to go. Now, was there ever any danger of uh, any people's weapons, anyone threatening to fire up on you guys? Absolutely. Uh, every time we do one of these, and especially when people don't come out and we give plenty of notice, we have a dog barking outside. We uh, Obviously, the SWAT team is here. Uh, if they don't want to come out, then that is a concern for us. And so we want to take every precaution. Uh, that's why we've evacuated the houses around it. Uh, blocked off the neighborhood and are, are using an armored vehicle for, for cover, uh, using our uh, equipment tactics to get to uh, try to get them to come out before we have to go in and get them. Just since I was here, I saw four people come out after some period of time. Did the original 11 people come out pretty soon or was it kind of a trickle? Uh, it was a trickle effect actually. Uh, we got a good group out, of, uh, out at first and then uh, as we proceeded uh, and our tactics uh, ramped up a little bit, more came out, and uh, as you can see, the last few came out uh, after we went and brought them out. Obviously, you guys have jurisdiction here, but it is inside city limits. Why you guys instead of SPD assisting? Well, we uh, participate in the, the Marshals Task Force, mm -hmm. and so uh, actually we do have an SPD officer here. There's no known vehicle, but our SWAT team was called to assist, mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we're here. So when you guys came here to this house, you were not expecting 515 people in there? Well, we never know what to expect when we come to a house. Uh, it could be a two-bedroom house, and you'd be surprised how many people can get packed in there. Any other, you may not know yet, any other indication of criminal activity in the home besides just a bunch of sketch characters? You know, we don't know yet, but we'll know uh, here shortly before we wrap up. Uh, we do have a, a warrant for the house, so we'll be looking uh, to see if there's any other criminal activity and, and go from there. If Mr. Schaefer is not found, this may be more question for the marshals, would Anything you'd like the public to know about or be on the lookout for? You know, what we'll do is we'll gather some more information here. If we have something to put out, we'll send it out uh, with, with the wanted information, his information, and, and see if we can go from there. And, oh, oh, no, you're good. Go okay, I was just going to say, and just to confirm, uh, you know, there wasn't any injuries or you know, anything like that during this? No. 
no, none. All right. 